they have their own agenda. Now, does their agenda correlate? with whatever whatever the dragon and his group are doing may be and i and i i talk about that in my book there's there's some alternatives that i address in the book there's several options that are in play here in terms of their correspondence in terms of their association the dragon and his angels and the grace it, it isn't like there's just one answer to that question it's it's really quite a conundrum in some ways but the grays are have their own agenda and their agenda it has something to do with creating alien human hybrids, uh, advanced alien human hybrids that look just like us and are, for all intents and purposes, are. Well, if you uh, look into, you know, the basic theory of evolution, um, life will continue to uh, evolve, grow, change with its environment. Um, so my idea is basically if you're going to believe in evolution, you got to believe it to like, uh, it's, it, you can't put a limit on it. Like I said earlier. Um, so basically if life is going to be created in the moment that it was for all intents and pur purposes, if it happened then in the future in the past, all at once, at the same time, for all time. And it's all happening right now. The moment. What is a moment? How would you describe a moment? Like half a second, quarter of a second, one second? These are the kind of things that you, uh, a moment, or it's just a, a, a measurement of time which is just another construct of human, uh, human mind. So, um, yeah. Went off on a little bit of a tangent off, you know, off the rails a little bit, but yeah, I love talking about this stuff. Um, it's so interesting. And it's like, I don't know, I just, I enjoy meeting other people that have similar beliefs um, uh, it's just I could just talk all day all night every day about that stuff but I will say there was a when it first started happening to me when all this stuff started be coming to fruition in front of me I will say that um, yes it, uh, it it's a lot to handle and that's the other thing I was getting back to earlier, um, I was trying to, is uh, when you have people that um, that don't believe in the phenomenon and they're exposed to the phenomenon, they're gonna lose their shit. Uh, that's basically the gist of what I was saying earlier. Now, me, I already believed they were real. I kinda had some sighting, sort of, kinda, sorta. But, you know, nothing concrete, you know, like, oh, that's definitely, you know, a UFO or a flying saucer or a fucking TR-3B flying triangle, whatever you want to call it. It was just basically a light that I seen. But um, when you actually start seeing these things, though, uh, it, it, it flips a switch in your mind and it's like, holy shit, it's, just, it's real. And then... So already believing that these things are real and then seeing that these things are real, even that, having those things in my little tool bag um, still was not enough to prepare me for just the, the weirdness and all the, the, the different phenomenons that happen when they engage with us. I'll, I'll get back to you on that, but that's basically what I wanted to say. Um, and I, I, earlier I said something about like, it's like a switch gets flipped on you, and you're like a beacon. It's like when you know that they're real, and they're out there, and they're always around you at all times. All times, like, you're everywhere at once at all times, basically. 
just like what I was saying about time and all that, that's them. And when they realize that and the great and when they realize when they when they figure out that you know that they're real when they know you know that you know it's like they're attracted to you and they start engaging with you more and more and more and uh, that happened to me when it when it was all first you know going down and it was too much it was too much to handle that's basically what I was getting at too is um, someone that was supposedly mentally prepared for what they were about to see wasn't and I didn't even see uh, an alien in the flesh or anything I just started seeing them zipping by at like you know these crazy speeds like a hundred feet above my house um, you know uh, uh, imagine like a, a ball like a football the shape of a football just zipping by over your house, like 20 feet over your house, just zipping by and leaving a trail. Um, a lot of people say it's just a shooting star, but um, it wasn't just because there was so much uh, other stuff that was going on around it. It's like the odds, the odds of having this light react to a specific thing I might say or uh, this like uh, like blinking out to a, 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 in a response to something I do or say it's just like when you start like looking at like all the little like the, the odds of like this happening while you're doing this and you might have your camera out and whatnot like the odds are astronomical like there's no way that it's like being able to pull out a camera and just happen to catch a shooting star, for instance, like on the fly, just pulling out a camera. It, it isn't like there's just one answer to that question. But um, pulling out uh, your camera and uh, catching it on the fly, and then a few seconds later, uh, another light like flicks on, s stays on, and then goes out. Doesn't move, just goes on and then on. And then out of your corner of your eye, you see something zip by, you look over there, and by the time you look over there, something over here is just going bink, bink. And it's just like one thing after another. It's insane. It's enough to drive you insane. It's, it's really quite a conundrum in some ways. But the Greys have their own agenda, and their agenda it has something to do with creating alien-human hybrids. Uh, advanced alien human hybrids that look just like us and are for all intents and purposes are us except for the fact that they retain the powerful telepathic powers of the greys and probably have very different dna than we do they are as i said responsible for most of the activity i think the ufo activity and, and expert on this but we've talked extensively about certain areas certain mountains or scriptures that any of this is is true well i mean it, it seems like you know on our show just in the brief moments and i don't i'm not no expert on this but we've talked extensively about certain areas certain mountains or where portals could be certain doorways and megaliths that, that seem to go to nothing and it makes you wonder if they were harnessing that energy yeah 